Uh, we're here with Corbin Maxi now, of course, with a special Christmas edition of Creature Feature. Prancer here joining us before he obviously takes flight. Absolutely, and he, or she, excuse me, visits us every single Christmas. It's so nice, you know, Christmas time. And you know what we're going to do? Because, you know, we have featured Prancer before. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about things that we normally don't know about reindeer. Five fun facts, okay? Isn't that cool? Yeah, One, they can fly, right? But, yeah, that, absolutely. That the first fact? Absolutely. <laughs> but take a look, actually, at the antlers. We're going to talk about the antlers okay. here, okay? Now, the, what, what do you guys think the difference between antlers and horns is? Well, horns are kind of made of that uh, keratin stuff, good, right? Is that good? Oh my god! That's the same gosh, stuff as the fingernails. Job, that's buddy. why I was pointing to my fingernails. Good there. job, okay. good job. And then, of course, these antlers are actually shed every year, whereas horns are not shed every year. Now, what's unique though is the male reindeer or caribou. They're the same genus and species. The males will lose their antlers in November, whereas the females will keep them all the way till spring to defend the young, and uh, which technically means all of Santa's reindeer are female. Wow. I guess their great? names are kind of gender neutral, most of them, yeah. except for Rudolph. Absolutely. But the absolutely. other ones are kind of gender neutral. <laughs> absolutely. <there. laughs> Another amazing thing, feel the hair right here. Feel it. Right. Look at, isn't that cool? Feel that coarse oh, hair. Yeah, they actually have coarse. two layers of hair, which we talked about. But on the outer layer, the hair is actually hollow, and it allows the reindeer to float in the water. Wow. So do they? Isn't that weird? Are, you guys are they? Are they in? Uh, well, yeah. Are they in the water a lot? I didn't realize that, that they were actually. They actually have in the to water travel. Yeah, they're okay. actually from northern parts of like North America, northern Europe, Russia, and where they do have to cross water. And they're excellent swimmers. Their feet allow them nice. to do that. But their fur is amazing because it's hollow, which I think is pretty cool. Another cool fact. You guys want to hear it? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. And of course, this is very exciting. That a reindeer calf can actually run after 90 minutes after birth. Wow. Wow. Isn't that great? That and always amazes me because Z? we obviously don't walk. For no. Long yeah, how long does it take no. us? I feel behind yeah, now. Actually, it takes how long us so does long it take to us? walk yeah. when humans are born. Yeah, absolutely. So. And they'll do that, of course, to escape predators, which is unique. Another interesting thing these are very, very social creatures. They can live in groups of up to a, a half a million individuals. Wow. Isn't that great? What yeah. are, are they, are they a, a, a herd? Correct, uh, what, herd. Are, what do they call? Okay, they yeah, are a herd. herd. They are part of Cervidae, which is the deer family, okay? And of course, what's unique is that they're the only deer species that both the males and females have horns, which is pretty wow. neat. This is very neat. cool. And the, the, you guys actually, believe it or not, visitors, yeah, check that out. Feel that right there. That's the actual velvet there. She still continued to grow. But um, believe it or not, people can actually check out Prancer, who came from the Cloverdale Cemetery, um, very, very soon in the valley. Yeah, and we've been there a couple of times. Yeah. Very Haven't neat. you been there? Yeah, 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 we've been there, and, and it's a year round thing too, right? It's not just Christmas absolutely, time, Absolutely, absolutely. It's at the Botanical Gardens. She will be there tomorrow night and Friday night. The last time she'll be there because, of course, she has to leave with Santa. So make sure mm -hmm. to check that out. Yeah, she's got a busy weekend. A very, Bob very, Bobby, very, so very, very busy she's weekend. She's probably going to have some well-deserved rest, maybe some <laughs> treats on uh, Monday or something. Yep, we'll absolutely, see. absolutely, absolutely. And we love dealing with Prancer. Our all reindeer this calm, or is it because Pran Prancer is just kind of used to this? Prancer's used to it, and I just talked, of course, to the owners. Prancer lives, I mean, except when she's with Santa, year-round at the Cloverdale Cemetery, and they work with her a lot, but she's actually 16 years old, and so oh. she's getting old. She still has a few more years, so they can live up to 20 years in captivity, and so, but um, she's probably one of the best animals I think we've ever had on Creature Feature, because usually we're used to things running around, um, trying to poop everywhere, and <laughs> Prancer's really good, so I think Prancer's great. And yeah. back to the horns, I know you said that they, you know, they lose their horns, however, what happens if they get hurt or something like that? Do that really hurt? What 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 is? Do they, yeah, do they feel that? Well, I you know what, what what do you mean if they get hurt by like a like like by a predator or maybe in combat because combat it can be really extreme. Matter of fact, it can even cause the death of the reindeer. Wow. And you can tell the males will fight over the females. And of course, um, oh yeah, watch out, Natalie. <laughs> we don't want that. Um, and like I said, it actually can be pretty gruesome. But uh, take impressive. a look. Yeah, you like that? Isn't that neat? And, and so she can feel all that. She's, she's very aware, right? Isn't that, yeah, she is very, very aware of everything, around especially around, around her surroundings. All right, well, that's awesome. Thanks for bringing in Prancer today. Of course, she's got a busy weekend ahead of her, her and uh, all of her friends over Absolutely. there at the North Pole. All right, so you can see these. Uh, where, again, can we see these? At the Botanical Gardens tomorrow night and also on Friday night. And, oh. and that's the last Cemetery time. And well. at the Cloverdale Cemetery year-round, except right. on Sunday, which is Christmas. Okay. All right, perfect. Thanks a lot, Corbin. We'll be right back with a final look at traffic and the forecast coming up after the break.